So right off the back, I was looking at my 2011 version of this video, and it was annoying as fuck. Granted, it was it was basically me jerking my own dick off, and basically saying, Oh, look at everything I've accomplished. I feel like I'm getting that much better. Next year's gonna be so much better. I might even go deeper, more complex. Some of you might like what I've done so far, but... Here's some of the videos I like, here's some of the videos I didn't like. And all that was cocky and self-sufficient, but it just seemed retarded with that fucking beat in the background that was repetitive as hell. So my favorite part of that video was like near the end where I basically looked at that annoying ass beat and as it was like bouncing along and I thought, alright, let me play around with this. So I just started taking off some notes off that beat one by one. And that was when it started getting really interesting because when it, I was just taking off some of those notes and things like that, it just seemed to have more depth. It was like what you didn't hear felt more important than what you did hear. And of course, what I was going for was some type of retarded interpretation of the 145. Uh, like the. A one five two six three seven something like that. This was back in the days when the only relatively interesting chord progression I knew were the stuff that was kind of based off that mindset, that one four five mindset. Which good thing I took some lessons in music, so next time I won't do something that borderline insane and annoying because I definitely felt like I took a dick to the ears Fucking, that shit was violent I don't care so who do I have to thank for for this year relatively everyone from back then including Garage Mickey and things like that I have to thank for for now a lot of those guys even some of the guys I didn't mention like Bryce sees a a lot of motherfuckers are involved in the positivity for this channel. And I think I got everything I needed to get done, along with three hiatuses in this channel. Like, I've got through, I've gone through the triple digits in terms of my subscribers, which is definitely good. I want to be able to do even more than that. Granted, it's not as vicious a priority. But... It is a definite that I do need more subscribers. Like I know guys with less subscribers than me that get more comments. So one thing I'm interested in is comments. Because if someone's commenting, like you got a good vi variety of people commenting, like five or six would definitely be a plus side for me. But one can only dream, right? What can only dream? Um, I don't see why I have bangs when, like, my fucking hair is curly as all hell. Especially when it gets really long. But that's kind of good in a way, because them shits, when they get really long, they start stabbing me in my eyes. It's so violent and shit. It's ridiculous. Another thing that just, like, struck me about that video was how shitty the lighting was back then. And how stupid my room looked, but it happens, it happens. But some things never change. More people that I should thank for. Um straight out of the bat I should thank uh Arini. He's really helped uh I think my creativity and my personality for the most of twenty twelve. Straight out the bat. I mean, I just started getting cockier, less retarded and shit. It really does help. I mean, his intentions probably weren't this for me. I mean, uh, being a complete douche and shit, but... It is a nice... 2012, that... The way I am now, it's a nice difference from when I was in, like, 2011, like... Both were, like, really interesting. Like, I like seeing all the retarded, rude shit I say. Like, I'll go on a nostalgia attack and 
watch some of my older videos and things of that nature just to see what's different, what's changed. And both, I just kind of like. And yeah, I still am cocky and retarded as all fuck, so it's like, something's ever fucking changed. Hmm. So, who should else should I thank? Uh, besides Arini, I should definitely thank Grog. This is something I didn't notice, but a lot of his views came from Moldbug. Like, I see, like, formalism. He took subformalism, and I kind of understand that now, and I don't. I realized that yesterday because I was trying to see what the big deal with Moldbug was because I, I didn't see it, but I went and checked his older blog posts, and there, that's what's interesting about him. And really, formalism and all this stuff, uh, it really did change the name of the game a little bit, but that's some cool shit. Me and Grog are like, I got respect for that nigga. Same thing with Eric Gorwell. Eric Orwell's, he, he's true, man. I mean, he responded to some of my videos, uh, Something C. Something C also responded to a lot of my videos. He responded to some of the ones where I was more rejective of hierarchy, where now I'm indifferent to it. A lot of the guys who I hang out with now are a lot more right-wing, and they're definitely a lot more supportive of hierarchy. And... To be honest, I'm not as dismissive of hierarchy. I mean, it has its advantages, its disadvantages. Like, a shit hierarchy, you're better off on your own. You're better off with small mass organizations or just going your own way. It's definitely a lot better. But, if it's good, then why not? If something works... If something works, then don't complain. Because this is the thing about life. If you have so many opportunities for things to function. And if you drop it, then you're probably a fucking idiot. And we, we've all gone through that position in our lives where we were in a good point. And then when it was gone, we can't go back. Hell, I've had it a few times this year. I've been hit rock bottom. I've hit fucking top it's crazy let's see who else should i think rocking mystery without a doubt i gotta thank rocking mystery arena and rocking Mi rocking mystery don't subscribe to my channel but still those guys are true goons i've got a lot of heart for them i love their work i mean i've made mentioned him in my price of real talk video he was the cornerstone for that thing the thing about him is that he conflates uh, anarchy as being a right-wing ideology and all these other things that can be right-wing as left-wing. So it's like, with him, terminology is a little skewed. Which is one thing I like about differences after the summer was over where you had more of a mold bug vibe now. I don't think it's going to last forever. I think it's going to get dropped out or reverted for something else. But... That's life, and I actually like uh, how formalism is very similar to libertarianism, except it doesn't have that utopian vibe, and it's taken me a while to drop that utopian vibe, and for that, I gotta say, you know what, guys, you should lay off fringe elements, because a lot of people have this uh, on his views of anti-statism. Now he's indifferent to the state and he's more le on the side of polycentric law and people are still on his neck. I mean granted these are idealized views however he's not like the Whigs, liberals, progressives, this Marxists, whoever the fucks that are willing to take something that's beautiful and destroy it to further a negative dialectic that he wants. It's not about what he wants. He understands this, so you guys should really stop sucking on his dick because he's not that kind of guy. He's he's not an asshole. He's not 
one of those rad films that are gonna hate on the patriarchy, even though some people just like it. Also, in thoughts on things like matriarchy. Matriarchy, there's definitely a preference for a patriarchy in terms of an extended family, but a matriarchy isn't that bad. I mean, if you consider a hood to be a matriarchy, then that's really not necessarily true. I know a lot of guys from legit matriarchies, uh, especially around here, guys that have lived with a lot of brothers, a lot of uh, with their moms, some things of that nature. And because they have such a full family life that they ended up tough. Granted, it's nowhere near as good as the patriarchy. Just like uh, no matter how good a um, mess organized or going your own way lone wolf type lifestyle is, it's not going to be as good as, let's say, the hierarchical one. I mean, things work like this. Granted, there's extensive hierarchies, rigid hierarchies. There's a lot of types of hierarchy. So, what I've learned is that a lot of things in this world work. And a lot of things in this world don't work, but it's not on the same terms. Like, some things are better than others, but a lot of it works. It's life. It's like, think about like a diet. There's a lot of stuff that works. But it might not be best. Some is probably going to be better than others. Like, you could go on a Atkins diet or a Paleo diet, and both are going to be better than a Pritikin diet or a fucking eat a lot of candy and whatever the commercials tell you to eat diet or a school lunch, fucking high carbs, no protein. Unless it comes from stuff that doesn't have a lot of fat diet or vegan diet or a lot of this stuff. Uh, and it just gets to a lot of complexity. So I think about politics in terms of how I think about a diet. And that's a good way to look at any ideological thing. Think about it like a diet. And in the end, some people are weird into becoming stronger people because of their political lifestyle and how society is being managed. And some people, just like in a diet, are trained, but they end up becoming fatter than they were before. They end up actually gaining weight, looking more like a slob. And eventually getting depressed and suiciding. Just like some people don't like the lifestyle that exists nowadays and they just kill themselves but I've kind of developed this hypothesis that a lot of guys that do freak out and shit like that and just want to end their lives another thing is that um, a lot of guys do think about this on a regular basis but they never actually do it so if you think about it this world is a very depressing place so I think that, uh, in general, assholes are taking over, douchebags are taking over, and there's not a lot I can say about that. I mean, you gotta, you gotta get on the work, you gotta improve your life, self-improvement, shit like that. That's kind of the name of the game for 2012, but it's a little more than that. You kind of need to deal with people that aren't going to fucking drive you insane. Because you could just, like, step back and just retire from all this assholery and deal with guys that are worth it. It's going to be really hard since everyone's an asshole kind of nowadays. So you got to really, really search. But I'm sure you can find it. Special thanks to all you motherfuckers. Uh... I really, I really shave more often nowadays than I did back then, but since I didn't go out in a while to meet friends or family or girls, I didn't shave, so got a little bit of a fuzz. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video and suck the juicy dick.